Matt Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Jam-packed uh, would be an understatement for uh, what we've got lined up for you today. Jeez, I mean, there's just every day so much breaks that you don't even know where to begin. But I think got to start with the uh, Tony Bobolinsky stuff because uh, I what's it going to take for people to understand the Bidens are corrupt, that Joe Biden is using his place in the government to enrich his family, to become part of the 1%. Uh, if, if you can't understand that by now, and it's pretty clear, there's just a ton of evidence. And when Democrats are presented with it, I was just reading some of the comments underneath the videos that have just come out. It's like, oh, this looks, this smells of desperation. Yeah, this smells of desperation from Trump and Fox News. <laughs> okay, did you pay attention to the content? Do you, do you understand what's being said here by Hunter Biden's business partner? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> do, do you understand that Joe Biden has said he had no dealings with anybody in Hunter's business? In fact, he didn't even talk to Hunter about it. He virtually didn't even know Hunter was employed by anybody. What? Hunter was in Ukraine? Huh. I thought he was in Delaware the whole time. That's really strange. Huh. So, uh, Tucker Carlson, who's been doing some really good work lately, had uh, the, the Biden business partner on his show last night with a big interview. And uh, his his name is Bobolinsky. Uh, and if you do a search on CNN, mm-hmm. they neither confirm nor deny that this person even exists. Yeah, some, they've never even written his name on their website. Yeah, somebody sent that to me this morning, and uh, I had to find out for myself. And uh, if you search for Tony Bobolinsky, uh, absolutely never mentioned Nothing. on CNN.com. Ever. Of course, of course not. It doesn't fit their agenda, and their agenda is to get Joe Biden elected. Wow. I mean, you talk about journalism and the death of it. Yeah, you want to talk about desperation. It's these far-left media outlets like CNN and social media that are doing everything they can to protect this man. They're just trying to ignore it long enough for him to get elected on Tuesday. If they can just uh, deflect attention until Tuesday, then they get Biden in the White House. They think. Drag... And I don't want to say corpse, but drag this vessel, yeah. this Trojan horse. Across the finish across line. The finish. And that's what they're trying to do. Desperately trying to do that. So here's uh, Tucker Carlson interviewing Tony Bobolinsky last night. Because they were sort of whining and dining me and presenting the strength of the Biden family uh, to get me more engaged and want to take on the CEO role uh, and, you know, um, develop Sinohawk both in the United States and around the world in partnership with uh, CEFC. And uh, I, as you can imagine, I've been Chinese asked stuff, uh, by 100 people over the last month, you know, why would you be meeting with Joe Biden? And I sort of turned the question around to the people that asked me, why at 1038 on the night of May 2nd would Joe Biden take time out of his schedule to sit down with me in a dark bar at the Beverly Hilton, Mm. sort of positioned behind a column so people couldn't see us, to have a discussion about his family and my family and uh, business at a very high level uh, where Jim Biden sat and Hunter Biden participated in. Mm. I'm irrelevant in the story. Um, They weren't raising money from me. There was no other reason for me to be in that bar meeting Joe Biden than to discuss what I was doing with his family's name uh, in the Chinese CFC. Huh. Huh. (laughs) He was very specific. (laughs) 1038 at night. That's pretty specific. He has everything documented. Yeah. And a week from now, if Joe Biden is elected president, we will never hear his name again. Mm -hmm. We won't get to the bottom of this. If you can't convince yourself to vote for Trump, if for no other reason, it's to expose what Joe Biden has used the vice presidential office for. Can you only imagine what he could do at, in the Oval Office? And it just shows they can get away with whatever they want. And they don't have to pay a price for any. There's no consequences for the elite. 
I mean, he's been a U.S. senator for 47 years. He believes he's absolutely Teflon. He's absolutely stain-proof. You can't, you can't even smear something on him. You can't do it. Uh, and it, even when you bring evidence, even when you bring the emails, even when you bring the phone conversations or the video, nah, don't worry about it. The mainstream media will cover for me. Sure, a few people will talk about it, talk about it on The Blaze, maybe Fox. But you're not going to get to any of my supporters with this stuff. Do you think voters will care? Will this move the needle? His won't. No, I don't think his will. Although, we're going to show you somebody uh, who, who apparently did support Biden who doesn't anymore, and it did mean something to her. This whole computer thing got through to some to a hardcore supporter. We'll get to that, but... We got to play more of the uh, Tony Bobolinsky stuff. Uh, here's here's more of what he had to say. Joe asked me to talk about my background, my family. He thanked me for my service. Um, I'm obviously very proud of that. Proud of my brother's service and my grandfather's service. Pause it for and, a second. Uh, then he now that, that's part of, of the problem here with this with Tony Bobolinsky, right? Because they are trying to pin, they're trying to throw him under the bus. Yeah. They're trying to say that he is the centerpiece of a Russian Russian disinformation campaign. Correct. And he is like, what? okay, stop smearing me. That, that, you know that's not true. And I'm not going to put up with that. So you better stop it or I'm going to come forward with this, which is why apparently right. he hasn't been coming forward yeah, until he now. he gave them till midnight Sunday night to retract what they've been saying about him. And they didn't because they don't care. They think it's gone too far. Please show them otherwise. <laughs> Please. All right, let's see this. And uh, then he walked through sort of his family um, you know, obviously some of the tragedies they've dealt with, mm -hmm. his political career in a high level. Um, you know, we didn't go into de too much detail in business because Hunt, prior uh, to Joe showing up, Hunter and Jim had coached me. Listen, we won't go into too much detail here. This is just a high level discussion and meeting. So it's not like I was drilling down with Joe about cap tables and, and, uh, and, and details. So you hmm. said that they wanted you to meet <laughs> Joe Biden as a way to induce you to participate in this deal. You were, you were the actual business guy here who had management experience, deal experience. But it also sounds like Joe Biden was vetting you to some extent. Yes, of course. Like, um, I didn't request hmm. to meet with Joe. They requested that I meet with Joe. And, uh, you know, he's putting his, um, and Hunter says this in writing, it was uh, referenced multiple times, uh, they were putting their entire family legacy on the line. They knew exactly what they were doing. They were dealing with a Chinese-owned you know, uh, enterprise uh, run by Chairman Yi, CFC, that had strong financial support and political support from the Chinese Communist Party. Huh. That's how it was presented to me. Huh. That's not my own words. That's how they presented it to me and read me in on it. And uh, my, they, they, they being Gillier and Hunter they Biden. They being Hunter Biden, who was very proud of that and taking credit very for proud. it when I sat with him for two hours on the patio of the Chateau Marmont in L.A. Proud that they were doing a deal with the Chinese Communist Party? <laughs> well, proud that they were, that he had the relationship with Chairman Yi, who was running uh, CFC, and the ability for them to get deals done around the world and stuff like that. Hmm. Huh. Chateau Marmont. So he was at the Beverly Hilton, mm -hmm. uh, the Chateau Marmont. He's about to tell you that he was also at the Peninsula meeting with these people. These are three of the most expensive hotels in the world. But these are not elitists. Come on. Joe's a regular <laughs> guy. Come on. The Bidens, they're just middle class America. That's middle class Joe we're talking about. Boy, is, is Tony Bobolinsky a brave American? Or oh, a yeah. I mean, this guy, yeah. and he even talked about how special forces were guarding his family uh, right now. And Oh, wow. I, I, yeah. I don't blame him. It's, uh, this is chilling to think that Joe Biden could be president of the United States as of next week. President-elect. It's, it's chilling. We, can't, we can't allow it to happen. Please get out and vote. And share this. Share this stuff. We should post all these. Uh, the, the video link to uh, the interview last night. Mm -hmm. Maybe the full thing from Tucker. Share it with pe people you think you can influence. Who, who will have an open enough mind to say, no, I don't want this kind of corruption in the President of the United States. No, thank you. No. And again, Biden has been there for 47 years. He believes 
that you can't penetrate his his shield of invincibility. His power shield is so strong now after all these years in Washington that you can't get to him. He can do whatever he wants. And that's what he's been doing. How do you think Joe Biden is as wealthy as he is after all these years? And he'll tell you, oh, go look at my uh, tax returns. Uh, go, go check out my tax returns. I want Look at them. Yeah. How many tens of millions are not included in that that you got under the table from your family members? The 50% that they owe to pop when they do these deals. And again, think of this. This is not Ukraine. This is about China right now. He's working with the communists. They're working with communist China to enrich themselves here. He does not care about America. Here's one more clip uh, about uh, the business partner of Hunter Biden, uh, Tony Bobulinski. To Jim, walk through this. Um, I have a big heart. If you talk to anybody who knows me, they would uh, they, they would weigh in on that. Um, I'm a kind person, and um, I'm, I'm thinking about the Biden family. Like, how are they doing this? I know Joe decided not to run in 2016, but what uh-huh. if he ran in the future? Aren't they taking political risk or headline risk? Interesting question. And I remember looking at Jim Biden and saying, how are you guys getting away with this? Like, <laughs> or aren't you concerned? Nope. And he sort of, he looked at me and he laughed a little bit and said, uh, mm. plausible deniability. Huh. He said that out loud? Uh, <laughs> yes, he said it directly to me, one-on-one in a cabana at the Peninsula Hotel after about a you know hour and a half, two-hour meeting with me asking out of concern, how are you guys doing this? Aren't you concerned that you're going to put your brother's you know, future presidential campaign at risk? Um, you know, the mm. Chinese, the stuff that you guys have been doing already in 2015 and 2016 around the world. <laughs> and uh, I just can almost picture his face where he sort of chuckles and says, you know, plausible deniability. So he said this is a man who's been drafting off his brother's political career for almost 50 years. <laughs> he said to your face. Essentially, we're we're lying about it. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Anyone uh, watching this interview can look up what plausible deniability (laughs) means, and the uh, definition is very distinct. Why would I look that up? I I don't want to bother. And that's what they're counting on, of course, that Mm -hmm. you don't look it up. That you don't look up any of this. That you don't click on the link. That you uh, don't believe anything this guy is saying. That you just keep going on your merry way and vote for Joe Biden because he cares about you, the little guy. <laughs> Ugh. It's agonizing. Well, and it's dangerous, and it's anti-American. And working with the communist Chinese, I mean, it's... Does it border on treason? And what else do the Chinese have, information-wise? Oh. There is. You gotta believe, we haven't even scratched the surface. If we know about this... What is there that we don't know about? Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't even. I can't even imagine. All right, uh, let me take one minute to tell you about Not Free America. Um, one of the most interesting books I think you'll ever come across. It's written by Mike Donovan, he who has fought tyranny for years as the founder of the nation's largest pro bono civil rights law firm. Uh, as he puts it in his new book, Not Free America. Our Bill of Rights has been under attack since long before COVID-19 or George Floyd's murder. If you refuse to surrender your liberty to any earthly power, you need to have this book. Not Free America solves the issue of citizens being used by the government. It's actually a solution book, not just telling you about the problem, although it does that as well. Visit notfreeamerica.com. Take the Liberty Pledge and order your copy today to find out how to stop the overreaching abuse of our government and what actions you can take <clears throat> to do better. We have to stick together on this and, and try to fix our ever-compounding liberty crisis in America. If we can unite around the concept of liberty, we should be able to agree on that, right? We should all be able to agree. And if we can, we can create lasting greatness. The most significant changes usually come from crisis, and that's what's happening right now. Do your part. Visit NotFreeAmerica.com today. That's NotFreeAmerica.com. Order yours today. Pat Gray is unleashed. 
All right, we got one more uh, Bob Alinsky uh, to share with you. This is, the, again, the business partner of Hunter Biden. He did, in fact, meet with Joe. Joe Biden, who says he had no, nothing to do with any of his son's business dealings. He, pff, I didn't talk to his business partners. Uh, I didn't talk to him about his business at all. Hmm. Really? All right. Here's, uh, here's more from Tony Bobolinsky. You're going public with this. And you spoke to Rob Walker about it. Again, the, the self-described Biden family representative. And Biden family, the meaning Joe Biden as well. What was his response when you let him know that you were going public with this? Uh, trying to coach me, <laughs> trying to sort of say, hey, we don't want to do that. We don't want, you know, press trucks out in front of our house. I'm going to have to move. Uh, I could lose my job. Um, and uh, all that, um, you know, I'm not trying to cause any harm to anyone in this situation, right. let alone Rob Walker and his family. James Gillier and uh, and his family. Um, but basically, Rob's position was, if you go on record with all these facts, you'll bury all of us. If he doesn't come out on record, I am uh, providing the facts. Tony, you're just going to just you. bury all of us, man. Huh. What was your response to that? Hmm. Um, I was focused on pushing these guys to do the right thing to demonstrate an ounce of integrity in front of the American people. They all know the facts. I live the facts. And luckily for the American people, mm. all the facts are extremely well documented. Mm -hmm. I'm irrelevant in this discussion. So I can write off, mm. but the American people can read these texts, listen to the recording that you just played, read the legal documents that were executed in Delaware, and they can form their own conclusion. They don't need me to form the conclusion for them. Wow. Seems pretty legit to me. And he's got the audio recordings to back it up. I mean, you, hear, it you hear Rob Walker say right there, no, you come out with this, you're going to bury us all, man. Huh. Huh. Really? Why? I thought you guys didn't do anything wrong. I thought everything was perfectly uh, on the up and up here. Perfectly legal. Everything's fine. What do you mean? You're gonna, I'm going to bury all of you. I mean, he proves what he says. He gave them an ultimatum to tell the truth. Stop throwing me under the bus, or I'm going to come out with this. Oh, you do that, you're going to bury us all, man. Man. Tony Bobolinsky, please stay safe. American hero right there. Jeez. Well, you know, the light of day will make it harder to all of a sudden have uh, Tony Bobolinsky show up dead. That would be just a tad suspicious at this point. It's, it's good that he's shedding the light, a little, putting a little sunlight into this. To disinfect the whole situation. Yeah. Some people voted two months ago, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 71 million have voted now. Oh. 71 million. Oh, God. I think the early voting numbers last time were 50 million uh, total. Total, total, yeah. And now it's 71 million we still have till Friday, at least in Texas. I, I think that's probably the cutoff for most states. So what have we learned lately? All of these revelations... From the business partner. Also, China has long owned Joe Biden, uh, thanks to having compromising information about his family and possibly about him. Mm. Biden identified CIA assets in China. This is the claim, yeah. Mm -hmm. The backstory uh, is that between 2010 and 12, China executed or imprisoned 20 assets. Remember that story? They were just killing all of these American assets. Somehow, all of a sudden, China found out all of these people and, and had them killed. Uh, destroying that critical intelligence network that we had going there. Third, uh, Guo's outlets have millions of videos and photos of people who have worked with the Chinese against, uh, against their own people. If true, and their own companies, this implies that Guo managed to get into China's blackmail database, and they can release that. He can release that information. I mean, this is only going to get more interesting. And that information from American Thinker. Uh, yeah, I mean, who knows wow. where this could lead, but it's nowhere good, especially if you put this man in the Oval Office. Hmm. Anyway, I, I don't know Wednesday. what it takes yeah. to get through to to 
uh, Democrats. What what does it take? Well, this actually got through to one Democrat at least. Uh, this woman with the is her hair blue or green or pink or something. Um, <laughs> she's she looks the part of of somebody on the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait a minute. <laughs> Not that. Come on. I mean, a lot of Trump supporters have blue hair. Am I right? Or well, green? Well, I mean, maybe blue was a bad example. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, no, I think she's got green hair, and okay. uh, she absolutely hated Trump. Uh-huh. Hated him. Now here's what she has to say. Green? Eh. Let's go with green. Aqua? <laughs> Wait. For the first time in my life, mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I voted red. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, it's so weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. I was a Democrat. I was a Democrat. I was a Democrat. <laughs> Past tense. This was. year has shown hmm. me... So many eye-opening things. Really? And with this, huh. with this laptop scandal, I can't, in good conscience, with the laptop vote scandal. for Biden. I just could not. Incredible. I, I did not. Good. In 2016, I thought a dumb, misogynistic businessman was now our leader, <laughs> and the world was over. <laughs> I hated it. God, I don't know how to tell you how much I hated Trump. I, I don't. But you know, you know what? You know what, what I just did? What? Tell us. I voted uh. for Trump. <laughs> she voted for Trump. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. <clears throat> she voted for Trump. Hated his guts. But this was too much for her. She's actually, first of all, paying attention and somehow getting other information than is provided by CNN. Because CNN certainly not talking about this. Maybe this is the end for your on the fence friends. Maybe. Don't talk about Trump. Because mm-hmm. that's, I mean, you that word comes up, and then the whole conversation disintegrates. Yeah. You just say, hey, this stuff that Biden was doing with China, we will never find out the truth if this man becomes president. And you wouldn't think her mind would be open enough to allow that information to percolate in her mind. Oh, she's open-minded. Look at the color of her hair. Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, that's great stuff. That was good. That's fantastic. Good for her for... for Hearing it, for thinking about it, for having it make a difference and not just saying, oh, this looks like desperation on the part of the, of the Trump administration and Fox News. It's Fox News. Hmm. Fox News. Is getting, they're just an arm of the, of the Trump administration. Yeah, unlike CNN for the Democrats and MSNBC <laughs> uh, for the Democrats and, and NBC and S- Social CBS, media. Social media. And yeah, Twitter, Facebook, yeah. Instagram. Google and YouTube. and <laughs> Google, uh, YouTube. So... Virtually everybody else. Seriously. Uh, there's another guy who seems like, I don't know, <clears throat> not your typical Trump supporter, I would say, that went to a Trump rally uh, or happened to be in the area when a Trump rally broke out. Yeah, another feel-good clip here. Yeah, check this out. What's up, guys? Hey, I got to tell you a story real quick of what happened to Ooh, me I today. I like stories. Um, so I come out of the uh, corner store, and there was a, um, a Trump, what is it, a parade, I guess, right? You know, miles of cars with flags, and on the corner there was about 50, 50-plus 50 people. And I'm like, man, I haven't. It's here. It's in my neighborhood. I haven't experienced one of these before, so I'm going to go check hmm. it out. So All right. I went over, and uh, and what I saw, wow, it was amazing. It, mm-hmm. There was, I don't know, man. It was black people. There was white people. There was Hispanics. I saw Asians driving by beep, and I saw Native Americans beep. And I saw everybody was freaking happy, and that's mm. something I'm like, huh? What is going on here? <laughs> Wait, I haven't in felt that in a long time, man. <laughs> um, and it was something that was it was refreshing. It was cool to see. There was no negativity. There was no one yelling. Biden. Biden sucked. Not didn't even come up at all. Mm-hmm. The 90 minutes I was there, just watching, man. Um, I saw people hugging, fist bumping. Mm-hmm. Just, I saw everybody getting along. It was like the first sense of community I've seen in a long time, man. And I, and not only community, um, I haven't felt patriotism like that. I don't know, man. Maybe since nine eleven. Mm. It's it's that. Mm. It was weird, man. You know, it comes from a guy that's fought overseas, fought a couple wars and and whatnot. It was um, it was refreshing. It was refreshing to see mm. Americans happy. And, and getting along regardless of what they, what color, what, whatever, religion, it doesn't matter, man. So if you, um, I'll never tell you how to vote. 
ever. I'm not even, that's not my business. But if you've never experienced something like that, or uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe seek one of these things out and go observe because it was, um, hmm. it was refreshing and uh, it put me in a great mood, man. So, <laughs> anyway, have a good weekend, y'all. Cool, How man. dare he? What? Somebody ducks that man. Oh. Show us where he lives. Let's egg his house. That's probably already happened. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so yeah, he is the editor of Skillset Magazine. To give you an idea of, of what kind of uh, website this is, remember what you guys, you, you waterboarded Stu uh, mm -hmm. with the... Uh, Insure. Insure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're doing that with beer uh, on, on this guy's website. <laughs> so it's a fun, you know, kind of a loose uh, uh, lifestyle type uh, website. Um Wow, there's mm -hmm. some interesting stuff there. So, I mean, he's not your typical... He, he, he That was a genuine video mm -hmm. from an American who's just like, wow, that yeah. crowd puts me in a good mood. As Happy opposed people. To, yeah, screaming like you're possessed by the devil. And the they're, not, they're not screaming F Biden and all right. that kind of stuff. And I, I, think that's, I think that's generally really, really true. You're going to find a big difference between the rallies and the protests on the left and uh, the Trump rallies. And... For instance, have you heard of anybody stealing or destroying Biden-Harris signs? I've never heard it. Maybe it's happened, mm. but I, I don't remember ever hearing about it. Or attacking a home with a Biden-Harris sign out in front of it. You drive by and you just think, eh, these are stupid people. No, you've got people having their farm equipment in rural Nebraska burned out in the field because supposedly because it had a Trump flag on it. Yeah, right. Uh, and I mean, mm -hmm. you're, you're right. It's almost exclusively in that direction. I think it is. And, and he talks about people of all races getting together, having a good time. Just sounds like the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And, and you don't have the person on the Trump side screaming at their camera phone when a justice dies like you get on the other side. Not that I've seen. Nope. Did you have those kinds of uh, videos when Antonin Scalia died? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, yeah, Antonin. Here, here she is. I'm driving your car, but I just got a notification that Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. <laughs> ah. Fun. Could this year get any <laughs> Yes, yes, it you can. You just had to make it to 2021! Inconsiderate. <laughs> so inconsiderate. Right? Just, I mean, just had to live a little bit longer. Yeah, we know what she was discussing with her therapist in the next session. Uh, yeah. Whew. <laughs> that's, uh, that, now that, now that's funny that you say it like that, like Ant Antonin Scalia yeah. dies. Yeah, can you imagine? Guys! Obama's gonna appoint his replacement! Guys! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It didn't happen. We just because we just don't act like uh, that. Uh, I mean, it sucked. Yeah, it did. but we're not gonna scream at right. the camera and then post for the world to see. Ah. And tell him he just had to hold on till 2016. Right? What are you doing, man? You die anytime you want after 2016, but not now, Antonin. I mean, to be fair, I do react that way uh, in the fourth quarter of most Falcons games, but I don't post it on social media. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in the comfort and privacy of your own home, which yeah, is... Yeah, or my backyard. As it should be. As I'm throwing objects against mm -hmm. fences. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it's just a completely different... They've lost group. their minds. They're yeah. just out of their heads. Uh, it's really something to behold. Uh, which is what makes the video of the aqua-haired girl uh -huh. all the more impressive. Because very few on the left are open-minded enough are capable of doing that <laughs> yeah that's really something and then honestly though the guts it takes to post that can you imagine her friends right? what kind of crap oh my they're gosh. giving her she must be getting bludgeoned hmm. hopefully figuratively uh, but you never know with those people you never know alright uh, Jeffy's coming up next to Chew the Fat Yay. on Pat Gray Unleashed I love these Biden ads where he's out talking to the people and Pressing the flesh, he's shaking hands and putting his arm around people and sniffing them. It's so beautiful, and and I wonder when they're gonna get to this interaction that he had with the people. I'm a long time, and I know more than most people know, and I can get things done. That's why I'm running. 
and you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups. Together. Yeah, let's do push-ups, man. Do oh, wouldn't this make a great ad? Let's do push-ups, man. Hey, fatso, let's all do push-ups. You want to do that? You want to go out and fight? What do you want to do? You want to go behind the barn and we'll have it out? Huh? Is that what you want? I'll take you. I'm smarter than you. I'm tougher than you. I, I'm better than you. I'm slimmer than you. I'm stronger than you. And I'm older than you. Number two. Number two. Yeah, number two. No one has said my son has done anything wrong, and I did not on any occasion. Yeah, nobody said his son's done anything wrong. Yeah. No one has said it. Hmm. Well, wow. the business partner just said it, and we played that for you for about half an hour, but disregard all No one has ever said it. No <laughs> I didn't one say you were doing anything wrong. I you said, said I set up my son to work in an oil company. Yeah. Isn't you know what you said? Get your word straight, Jack. Jack. <laughs> But I Jack, you, when you're in a friendly conversation, a lot of times you use that lingo. Yeah. Get your words right, Jack. <laughs> When's this going to appear on on a Biden ad? I, I really want to know. It's such a great interchange between the two. You don't hear that in MSNBC. You did not hear that. You didn't. But you heard. You didn't hear that on MSNBC. Th- those people are on my payroll. I know they didn't say anything about it. Okay, I'm not going to get an argument with you, man. All right, man. Well, yeah, you do. But, uh, but look, Fat, look. Here's look, Fat, look. look. Fat. <laughs> I love it. Uh, look, look, Fat, look. All right. Wow, that's good. Stuff. So good stuff. That should be on a that should be on a Biden ad uh, in the final stretch here of the campaign. Plausible deniability. Oh yeah, what do you mm-hmm. got? What uh, you got? Is the ability to deny any involvement in illegal or unethical <laughs> activities because there is no clear evidence to prove involvement? Duh. Oh, yeah. Ah, we, all we, right. We I looked a, it up. Yeah. I looked it up. Yeah. We have an interesting tweet that uh, addresses uh, uh, of that. Uh, yeah, where he talks about uh, plausible, plausible deniability. deniability. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll get to that, I guess. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, yesterday, we had the update about a murder hornet nest uh, that was found in Blaine, Washington. Oh. Uh, this is from uh, Pepe Delecto 18. <laughs> that was that was Mitt Romney's uh, Twitter yeah. handle, right? Yeah. Pepe Delecto yeah. or Pepe Delecto. <laughs> Wait, what? Murder hornets in Blaine, Washington? Is that town named after the guy that brought down, down the, the Ten tab- Commandments? That's the, oh, first, yeah. that's the first thing I thought of. Yeah. Prophet Blaine. Story. Prophet yeah. Blaine. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Uh, from Saved by Grace, if Joe is elected, impeachment proceedings begin two minutes after the inauguration. <clears throat> Republicans won't do that. They just won't do that. No. Will Democrats? No. To get Kamala? Maybe. Maybe. No. Hmm. Hope Nugget, I know it's jaded, but I've simply quit caring about these corruption stories. <laughs> There's never any consequences for the elites. It's true. Mm -hmm. Easily provable crimes like perjury and nothing happens. Mm. Uh, Pat's pit of hate. Uh, Better look it up quick. (laughs) Webster's working on changing the definition of plausible deniability. Yep. Yep. You caught him him before they could change that, Jeffy. From content farm boy uh, to the woman with the green hair who ditched Biden for Trump. Welcome aboard. Mm -hmm. And Big Poppy tweets, my sister is gay and lives in New York State. She usually votes blue. But this year, oh, oh, oh. she's on the Trump bandwagon. Yeah, baby. Wow. Joe was a bridge too far for her. I'm sure many, many more like her. Sure hope so. Wow. Me too. We have six days to find out. Well, we're not going to find out in six yeah. days. But we got six days to vote. <sighs> so, uh, now joining oh, yeah. us. <laughs> there's uh, your, there's oh, your yeah. musical <laughs> introduction there. Thank you. Well, Joining that... us for, uh, let me at least. Oh, oh I'm sorry. sorry. Tell you, it's time for chewing the fat. With Jeffy. Can't use hey, congratulations to the Rays. <laughs> to the who? Uh, to the Rays. Who They made it to the World Series, but, uh, they, but lost. they lost. Yeah, they so lost, what are we congratulating them? For making it to the World Series. Yeah, and making a stupid yeah. pitching change. Boy, no kidding. Oh. Just as, as I, 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 I was, we don't have to talk about it, but I just feel like I know that they get, went by the books and all the metrics. I'm, I'm so all over the metrics. metrics. What happened to guts? I know. There is no guts. There is no guts. And that proved Didn't it. you see Moneyball? It took Watch the, Moneyball with Brad Pitt. You'll know what happened to Gut. Taking Snell out last night took the air out of the entire team, man. It was just it was sad. Mm-hmm. Then they had to wait, take the guy out of the game. I don't know if that's in your stack No, there. it's not. But I mean, because oh. I wasn't going to talk about the, baseball. Yeah, but Turner left. The Dodgers third baseman got pulled out of the game because he tested, tested positive. positive for COVID. What? 
What? Yeah, yeah. Turner testified. In the middle of the yeah. game? Yeah. Come on, you're done here. Oh, yeah. my no, no God. More, no he more World part- Series for you. Yeah, get out. Well, it's too late, right? Then yeah. you've already infected everybody. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? They should all quarantine now for, uh, you know, 85 days. <laughs> if and- you were at the Rangers mm-hmm. ballpark last night, well, congratulations. We can't talk to them because they're all dead. <laughs> Oh. They're all dead right now. Oh, oh that's no. right. We've got 91 million people dying a year from this thing. <laughs> yes. And 220, I'm sorry, what's the number, Kamala? Um, we're looking at uh, over 220 million Americans who just wow. in the last there several wow. months died. 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 Yeah, from oh, COVID. Terrible. Over 220 million Americans. You know what, Pat? Yeah. That's too many. That's that's what I said. That's what I said, that's Jeffy. Too many. You feel the same way? I do. Yeah, I it do. is. It's too many. I'm pissed at 220 million. Me too. Something Me too. It. Something should be done. If it was 200 million, you'd think, well, all right. Maybe I mean, we're 220 is the line. 220, man. That's too many. <laughs> yeah. oh, and that's and now it's I can't over we're on the same page. Yeah, we yeah, are. 220 we are on that. Million is too, too many. Much. Yeah. <laughs> Time to put on a mask. It if is. it's 220 million, I'm gonna be okay with I'm the mask a for a while. I'm putting on a suit. I am. <laughs> it is that time of year again, though. KFC selling their chicken scented fire logs for the third straight year. Yeah, for the love Man, of that. you uh, can't get uh, you can't get them at the drive through though. Although that probably would be a pretty good idea. Uh, Walmart exclusive carrier of the uh, of the fire logs, and man, who doesn't want to? Have their house smell like KFC chicken, baby. I mean, if you don't have the food, you're just torturing yourself. Oh, Mm. I know, but it's just the smell. Just Mm -hmm. the whole KFC fried chicken, Mm -hmm. fire log (laughs) smell in the house. Man, you just Mm -mm. Uh -uh. just want that, don't you? No, I I don't. I think you do. No. Filed under the, uh, would you do this, Uh, the Swiss internet provider Twi-Fi. Uh, TWIFI has been running a promotion that promises customers free Wi-Fi for 18 years. How many? Uh, 18. Seriously? Yes. Uh, the catch is you have to name your child after, you have to name your kid uh, Twifia or Twifius, right? Twifius? 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 T-W-I-F-I-U-S mm. and Twifia. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I would. You know, no. I, I might do it. I mean, what? Why not? Plus, the family that decided to do it. Uh huh. One family has decided to do it. They named it. It was the middle name. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that should count. Because I'm up. I mean, the middle name. No, because their you point name your is kid a thousand, a thousand. They want people names. saying it all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. But for 18, 18 years, <laughs> uh, at what sixty six bucks a year, it's like fourteen, a little over fourteen thousand dollars. Seems hmm. a little cheap. Mm-hmm. It's a little cheap to have a little Twyfia running around. Mm-hmm. For the first name. First name, I want twifia. more cash. A little Twyfia. Yeah. Running around. Give me a million middle, or a middle, two million. Yeah. And maybe I'd name yeah. my child that. Uh, first name, no problem. Middle yeah. name, yeah. I mean, you can name your kid a thousand middle names, and I have. So it's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, supermodel, uh, Emily Ratajkowski. Uh, has announced that she's expecting her first child with their husband. And she's, this is so she's weird, happy. man. And, uh, you know, she. I love Emily. I'm a fan. Been a fan of hers as she went topless in the in the video. Um, anytime she wants to go topless, I'm a fan. She talked. Uh, about, <laughs> she wrote in an essay for Vogue magazine, and she claimed that uh, she won't know her child's gender <laughs> until that child is. 18. 18. <laughs> that's the that's the fact. That's the title of today's chewing the fat segment. 18. 18. So wait, now is what, she I, is she not going to know or she's not no? Gonna she's not going to know. They're not going to know. She's not going to change. How could she know? Not How going she to know, know the Keith? gender until the child is 18, Who's and they the will diapers? let us know. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Well, changing the diaper has nothing to do with it. Correct. It doesn't. I mean, no. Only when the child has determined. Marion Webster's is that you? Truth. Uh, their identity. Will they know? Thank you. The right? truth, mm-hmm. ultimately, we have no idea who, rather than no what, idea. is growing inside of her belly. Right. So, so. there's that. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Congratulations on being pregnant with... Something. It. Mm-hmm. I mean, we don't know. We don't Them, know. Them, please. Might, they, it might them, decide they. that it is a Volkswagen bug. Mom? Yeah. Dad? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a VW bug. You just don't know. <laughs> You don't know. Right. I'm a, I'm a caterpillar. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, before I go into the next story, though, let me tell you, I want to remind you to subscribe to Chewing the Fat podcast. Uh, it's available wherever podcasts are sold. When are you going to reveal it? choose the, a platform of your choice. What's the gender of your podcast? Do you reveal that ever? Uh, the gender is fat. 
<laughs> chewing the fat. And you can choose, uh, you, you can subscribe on iTunes, uh-huh. and Stitcher, iHeartRadio, mm-hmm. Spotify, and just uh, enhance your life by uh-huh. subscribing to Chewing the Fat. Mm-hmm. So Elton John, 73 now, uh, has teamed up with Mattel to debut a new limited edition Barbie doll. Oh, no. Tiny Dancer. Oh, no. It's being released to coincide with the 45th year anniversary of his record-breaking concert at Dodgers Stadium uh-huh. in 1975. How many outfits come with that doll? Uh, you get the one outfit, you get the <laughs> pants with the E and the G, uh, E and the J on the legs, you get the bowler hat. I the grand piano is sold separate. Oh uh, really? Yeah, you know you have oh, to either make that yourself or uh you know maybe uh Barbie will uh, sell it to you. Uh retail 50 bucks. For just the doll? 50 bucks for just the doll. You get a stand and you get the wow. clothes and the shoes for 50 bucks. Oh, you get a stand. I wonder what um, that piano costs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. I haven't heard. They never. They didn't say that it. Uh, you know, the piano sold separately. So that might mm. be just a special Elton picture mm-hmm. with the grand piano. Mm. Um, the uh, Barbie, they're saying that uh, Mattel and Barbie, it's the uh, strongest sales in 20 years during the pandemic. Mm. So good for mm. them. Now mm-hmm. I went back to look at uh, remarkably. I went back to look at the concerts because they're saying that you know it was such a big deal the Elton John concerts in '75 in L.A. Mm-hmm. The two concerts that packed out Dodger Stadium over fifty thousand people each day, two days in a row, October twenty fifth and twenty sixth, sold out shows Dodger Stadium. Um, and I was looking at it ended up being like Elton John week that week the day before they did a uh, they did a test concert and he put the walk of fame star people mm-hmm. they closed down hollywood <laughs> for that. so many people i know sequence dodger uniform. general admission uh oh $10 a ticket oh two days in a row yeah in 75 yeah mm-hmm. general admission the one guy review that i read he talked about getting there and when he got there they were already putting people in the stands the, the field was already full and he said halfway through the show he meandered down to the stage. It's just there was you know secu- there was no real security. It was mm-hmm. just general admission. Mm-hmm. Do what you got to do. Fans were going crazy mm-hmm. for those for both shows. I was looking at the concert set, thirty one songs, two days in a row. Wow! I mean, it was incredible. Wow! I know, I know. So the gates opened at ten. They they opened up the act. The opening act was uh, Emmy Lou Harris, which is I mean huge. Ick. And I'm sorry. Ick. And then uh, the James Gang <laughs> with uh, future eagle Joe Walsh. Nah, yeah. And right. then and then they just waited for Elton to show Was up. Walsh still there in 75? I think he'd already joined the Eagles. Uh, not, a, not according to this, Pat. Huh. I mean, All right. Uh, I mean, All right. saying that Joe, maybe, you know, maybe Joe was, you know, cheating on the James Gang at that maybe. time in 75. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, then, uh, so Elton showed up, did... Uh, 31 song your song i need you he did uh border song take me to the pilot dan dare country comfort leave on rocket man hercules empty sky then he took a break <laughs> then they took a break and you know of course he had, i mean because he needed to rest mm-hmm. he wasn't doing anything to get himself charged back up again or anything right and then he came back out and did funeral for a friend goodbye yellow brick road benny the jets harmony dixie lily captain fantastic bitter fingers someone saved my life the bitch is back don't let the sun go down on me gotta get a meal ticket lucy in the sky i saw her standing there island girl philadelphia freedom then he does Great three song. songs in encores for an encore he does tell me when the whistle blows saturday night's all right pinball wizard oh wow for, and then he had a choir Good singing concert. with him at the end. He had there were he had stars show up and do back backup singing. I mean, it, that was a show. Yes, mm-hmm. <clears throat> two days in a row. And he was in a Dodgers uniform. Wow, and he, yeah, he had play, the glitter Dodgers uniform. Didn't play. Him. Take me out to the ball game. Right, and notice mm-hmm. no tiny dancer. Oh. Right, so they huh. got the doll Weird. commemorating commemorating the concerts, but he yeah, didn't do Tiny Dancer. It. Yeah, I mean, you'd think, it, especially after the movie, you'd think that maybe Mattel would have came up with, you know, the Rocket Man or something. Uh huh. But no. But no. But no. But no. It was tiny Dancer. Mm. Uh, you could be a ghost for a theater for twenty five bucks. Kind of a good idea. A, a Regent Theater in Prince Edward County in Ontario, helping to raise money, came up with the contest. Uh, the drawing is going to be Halloween. You still have time to enter. For 25 bucks. you can, uh, when you pass away, you get chosen and you can be the ghost of the Regent Theater. No. Oh, I know. 
I kind of like that idea. Uh-huh. He's, uh, you know, they're talking about, look, all the big theaters have their own ghosts. And, uh, you know, London, New York, Toronto all have ghost stories attached to them to these old theaters in the region. Wait, you want to be a ghost? Yeah, it'd be kind of cool when you do, when you pass away. Uh, oh, right? Okay. All right? I mean, when you, uh, according to them, when you shuffle off this mortal coil, <laughs> you get to be the ghost of region theater. Don't you have to be able to, like, hide really well or kind of, you know, sneak out, scare people? You're a ghost. Okay, well, you're going to have to start practicing. Mm. I mean... You do a good job at hiding, I guess. If you can pull that off, more power to you. It seems like the degree of difficulty might be a little bit higher for you than some. Why would that be? It seems like it's difficult for them to mandate whether or not you're going to be their ghost. I mean, it's really not up to them after you die, is it? Is it up to them? Well, I mean, if you decide that you're going to be the ghost. Yeah. Right? And they probably don't need a whole lot of ghosts at that one theater. If they got a Jeffy ghost, yeah. they can cover everything. Literally. In space news... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see a lot of fat ghosts. No, you that's a don't great see point. A lot of fat ghosts. Where are the fat ghosts? There is a void. We uh, need uh, fat ghosts. Definitely a void. In space news, uh, the uh, we got three big stories coming on in space news. Uh, the NASA probe that they sent to the asteroid to pick up the asteroid dirt. Uh, they picked it up. They did a great job, except they picked the probe picked up so much that it couldn't close tight. <laughs> so now it's leaking dirt. Ah. They're, try, they're trying to get it closed. <laughs> Really? They tried to get it closed so they could bring back the dirt. I mean, that is par for yeah, the course. It would really suck if it comes back empty. Jeez. And so we also mm. found out that uh, the moon has water on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, big fan. So Covered in water. Uh, I would say a space treaty or no space, space treaty, the moon belongs to the United States of America. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to find got my okay. property. Whose Remember flag that? is there? Thank you. I think Thank it's you. ours. That, that water belongs to us, my yep. friends. Yep. And of course, we all end it with uh, there was a big UFO over Hawaii this weekend. So really, the mothership oh. has come back. Oh wow, mothership has come back, and there's footage of the the oh, mothership. Oh, we'll have to check that out. Kind of scary. Oh, there it is. Kind of scary. Ooh. Clearly, a mothership Careful. right there. Thank you. Thank no you. other explanation. <laughs> Thank you. None. Pat Gray unleashed on the Blaze Radio Network. Great to have you with us. Uh, thanks for being here. 888-900-3393 if you want to call us. Uh, also available via Twitter at Pat Unleashed. Uh, Lee Payne Creative tweets, be prepared for me to have a Democratic style meltdown on TikTok if Biden wins. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> for him. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll be prepared for that. Swank think uh, we have six days to vote, except for the late mail in votes. Uh, Democrat poll operators are going to count. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Sir Jeffus of Spoons <laughs> tweets, KFC fire logs, proof of the superiority of capitalism. Mm-hmm. Thank Indeed. you. Mm-hmm. You're all lying. Look at that. There's, a, there, there's the uh, KFC logo <laughs> in all its mm-hmm. glory. <laughs> With Colonel Sanders right there up front. That's right. great. Preston Unmasked, has Glenn been sufficiently compensated for the image on that fire log? I don't know. He, I, I, let me answer for you. No. No, no he hasn't. Um, we were talking about uh, what they've discovered on the moon. For some reason, they're saying there's water all over the yeah, moon. Yeah. There's, there's I mean, water. actual water, ice. liquid water. Ice. Yeah. Like ice. ice water. There's ice? Yeah. So, and we didn't know that until now? Right. Proof, what? Proofread next time we're up there. How, how's that possible? I how don't is it? Know. It's, I don't know. It's 270,000 miles away. It's right we there. We can't tell that? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Point the Hubble at it. Dude, I mean, we already knew there was cheese. Right. We, we already hello? knew that. We've known that for a Thank really you. long time. What was it? Like, I don't know, like the uh, Indian. Like it, it was their little thing that. that that discovered this, right? The way the light was reflecting? I, I don't know. What? How in the hell? Okay. I, That's unreal. I don't know, man. What kind of crappy civilization I are know. we? We I don't know. have the technology. We got a moon here. It's only There's only one. Okay, we're not like Jupiter that's got eight hundred and thirty-seven. They have moons. an excuse on that planet. Yeah, there's a bunch of moons. Thank okay, you. and they're a, a ways away. Some of them. We don't know what's up there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we've got one. It does seem like we should know. It we does. should have known. We've it, been there. Yeah. How do we not know that? And it's our moon. I don't care about the space treaty. The space treaty can go, yeah. go f- right. burn somewhere. It's our moon. Whose flag is on it? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Ours. Yeah, so it belongs to us. 
Anyway, uh, NASA plans to return to the moon in 2024. And they intend to do so with 4G communication yeah. already on the lunar surface. Wow. That's provided cool. by Nokia. Yeah, Nokia got uh, quite a bit of money. $14 million. To and that seems like uh, that seems like a drop in the bucket sure to does. set up 4G cell it service. Sure does. Well, it's the moon. on the moon. It's just the moon. It's just the moon. It's a <laughs> small rock in the sky. Right. You just plant the little stick in the ice and move on. Wait, it's so it's already supposed to be there when astronauts arrive. Right. So they're going to put how it do in. they? How does that happen? We send a crew up and put the towers up. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? If we can send a crew up and put the towers up. Haven't you already been to the moon at that point? Wait, yeah, but we you don't have to wait till 2024. We haven't established neighborhoods yet. Wait, are oh, these okay. astronaut repairmen? I mean, yes. <laughs> who's doing this? Yes. Plus for 14 million. Mm. Right. It seems like that's a uh, it's a drop uh, in the bucket uh, when right? you're talking about a job like this. Yeah, that's nothing. Really? I I'd spit well, 14 on 14 million. million I, me too. Job. I mean, I mean 14 million that. gets you like a one tower. Maybe, on maybe the that moon. covers your transportation costs and your housing. Oh, here we go. Oh. Contracts all together. Oh. Are worth three hundred seventy million. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. And that's four G. Yeah, it's just four. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna already have outdated, outmoded. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, technology by the and time we get the, there. Where's uh, the LTE <laughs> Niner? Yeah. What's that? Where's that? Yeah. <laughs> weird. Huh. I mean, we've this already. This is a weird story. We're already into the five G territory, and and we're we're <clears> stuck. <throat> in, by the time they get up there, it's gonna be the equivalent of uh, our internet connection back in nineteen ninety four. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. gonna have it. The AOL connection on the moon. AOL connection, yeah. Our pioneering innovations will be used to build and deploy the first wireless network on the moon, mm. starting with 4G LTE. Oh, you got the LTE in there. Okay. And evolving to 5G. Yeah. So yeah. they're going to start with 4G, they're going to evolve it to 5G. That's an, that's an easy upgrade. We can't, But we can only evolve to 5G for another... Four or five hundred million. So wait, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. If one of the cell towers goes down, do they have to wait for the repairman to come up from Earth? Yes. To, oh well, they said it. They set a time. They set, they set a, a time. T- yeah, we'll be there well, sometime, sometime between, between October <laughs> and January. Thank you. We'll, be there. <laughs> we'll give you a call though. Will you be home? <laughs> Just six weeks before <laughs> we <we'll> arrive. <laughs> will, will, will you be home? I mean, you got to make sure. The no, le- nobody's yeah, going to be no, home. We're not going to yeah. be there. No one's there. Nobody's going to be home to open the door. <laughs> Man. So if they have questions about where your tower yeah, is and all problem. that, they're not going to know. Oh, it's a little bit of an They're issue. not going to know. <laughs> what a weird... How do you get the cell tower there without people? How do you get it? How, how do you install it? Well, I mean, you have to have people. Surely right? you can't just... Okay, you got a rocket landing, and then what happens? You know, You've the, got the, the robotics can only do so much, right? The, the yeah, machines there's no way they can install a cell tower, right? Maybe maybe the equipment will be there and the astronauts will assemble it. I don't know. I kind of just want my cell signal uh, here locally to work at uh, one fourteen and one twenty one. Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, I don't care about what's going on on the moon. Can, can I can I get a call to, to to stay stable around here? That's what's gonna kill this deal. We can't get cell service here on Earth. Why don't you focus on that? Why don't you focus on that? Who's gonna use the cell service on the moon? Wouldn't that be great to set up these towers in heaven? Uh, we some... got problems here on Earth! What do you do? Why don't you focus on that? I want some alien to pull up near the tower and make a call back to Earth. <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. So that's fun. All right. Mm. So then what do you do about the the Wi-Fi passwords and all that? <laughs> oh, boy. Now, now you're getting oh, you know? Know? Man. That's, that's another hundred the whole million. Number, that's another a whole other problem yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. So let's uh, take a look at what happened yesterday. The absolute explosion in Georgia when Joe Biden went down there. Uh, really? Look at this. Look at this. We've got a photo of it. A nice image of Joe Biden. Now oh. they had to do this from satellite because <laughs> it was they had to so pan back so far. Zoom, enormous. Zoom yeah, out. they had to <laughs> zoom out. They had to zoom out. Look at that. <laughs> And then somehow they were able to zoom back in a little bit. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> and they found a... there must have been eight people there. You yeah. wouldn't be able to eight. get that shot without the cell service no. on the moon. No, you couldn't. And you most of those eight were working members of the press. <laughs> and that, see, the press is off to the left. Come on. That's all press over there. 
Okay. And then the crowd. All right, the crowd's right the, in front of the, the, the stage. Raucous, the raucous group that's there to see the candidate, that's off to the right. There is nobody there. Maybe 12 people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy everybody wants to vote for. This is the guy who's up by 14 points or whatever. He's up by 7. He's up by 9. He's up by 12. Uh, yeah. No. CNN says 17 point lead for Biden in Wisconsin today. Oh my. Shut up. Gosh. Oh, I I would almost a 17 I point would lead. Almost make an underwear bet if Biden wins Wisconsin almost. by 17. Yeah. Almost. Seriously, but I'm done with the underwear yeah, bet. Oh, no, no underwear bets. Yeah. Chicken. Fortunate not to lose any of those. Gutless. And I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> so. But yeah, but uh, Joe went down to Georgia yesterday. He was looking for some votes to steal. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh huh. <laughs> now, this is live. Keep in mind. It's, okay. I've never tried this before. So this could go quite badly. <laughs> Joe Biden went down to Georgia. He was looking for some votes to steal. He was feeling fine because Trump was way behind and Joe was looking to seal the deal. When he came across a young man working his ballot and voting for Trump, and Joe Biden jumped up on a hickory stump and said, Boy, get off your rump. I bet you didn't know it, but I'm just like you. The man you're about to vote for is a racist, xenophobic fool. The boy yeah. said, Joe, I've disliked you since I can't remember when. So keep your vote. I'm sticking with the GOAT. Trump's the best there's ever been. Think about it. Woo. Young man, get to the polls and make your vote count now. Because if you don't, all hell breaks loose and Biden will show you how. Because if Trump wins, we once again make this country great. But if we lose, it's another commie state. <laughs> Could have potted the music down just a just a tad. Ah, well, it's, it's live. live. It's, it's live. It's live. You know, yeah, we talk yeah. about. We miss sound check. Uh, right. So That's you know, right. we're here. That's right. to check, 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 prepare. Check, check. <laughs> so yeah, Joe Biden went down to Georgia, and nobody cared. <laughs> nobody, nobody cared. cared. Nobody. Cared. Nobody cared. I love that photo because that's. That's the same scene that you see every single yeah. time he makes a public appearance. Yeah. Look at that. They've even got when the he brings, even circled. when he brings uh, so-called stars in. Yeah. Oh, he brought in who was it uh, last week? Uh, bon, oh, John Bon, bon Jovi. Bon Jovi yeah. Oh no. John. <laughs> now let's hear Bon. Let's hear Bon Jovi sing. <laughs> Biden went down to Georgia. He couldn't do it. No. He couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. No, he no. couldn't do it. There's no way. Mm-hmm. Because Although I'll keep my shoes to stretch for these worldly shag. That's love awesome. That. Love it. <laughs> love the John Bon Jovi thing. Yeah, and nobody showed up even when John Bon Jovi was with him. Mm-hmm. So, but you're telling me everybody's going out to vote for Biden right now. Right. He's up by 17 <laughs> wait, in Wisconsin. Wait, wait okay. a second. Wait. Bon Jovi, some uh, Pat had said that it uh, looked like Bon Jovi was playing a concert for that uh, pile of pumpkins there because that was the only people yeah. there. There was the nobody only, else. The only audience was this stack of pumpkins on the stage. <laughs> we still have that photo with John Bon Jovi. Maybe we can dig that up and show it again because uh, it's it's staggering, really. It's I know. amazing. I mean, they even drag out Obama. Yeah. They, and, and the crowds weren't there. Yeah. He was in Florida yesterday again claiming credit for the economy before COVID. I know. I mean, it is mind-numbing what this guy (laughs) takes credit for. It's still him. It wasn't him when it was bad, but it's it's always, it's still him when it's good. The country is still reeling from his presidency. Gosh, it's just amazing, the ego of that guy. The narcissism. People say that Trump is narcissistic. Oh, my god! Oh, he can't compare to Obama's narcissism. All right. 888 Also at Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Um, then we have the news of uh, Fitty. Fitty? Yeah. My Fitty. boy Fitty. Yeah. Mr. Scent? Uh, I'm, with, I'm with Fitty. Jeez. I met Fitty. He's, he travels with uh, quite an entourage. Oh, of course he does. Yeah, uh, he has to. I, re- I remember standing outside the radio studio when he was doing an interview, and this guy standing next to me, and I look at him, he goes, I'm with Fiddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. All right, big appreciate dude. that. <clears throat> big, big guy? Like a bodyguard type? <clears throat> no, no, 
Was just no. part of the entourage. Okay. Just a, he's with Fiddy. Yeah. They travel dude heavy. Those they guys. do. <laughs> travel dude heady. Uh, Quan LX did as well. Were you there when Quan LX came? Mm-mm. Keith, you weren't there? No. Still, really? Is like that a, after It was like a week after I left. Or okay. Yeah. yeah, Quan L traveled dude heavy as well. <laughs> So you got the big names after Keith left. Yes, yes, Quan LX. <laughs> yeah. so they're like, you got rid of that guy? Yeah. Oh, I'm coming down now. <laughs> of course, I couldn't get uh, the guy who was supposed to debate him to visit. Uh, and who was that? Was that Barry? Yeah. Matt Barry? Or what was his <laughs> mic? They're supposed to, they're supposed to have a big debate. Remember that? Barry. He didn't show up. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, all right. So <laughs> Finney Sant said a few days ago, Right, he was all in. He's all in on Trump. All in on taxes. He was all he was all angry that he had to pay a bunch of taxes. He said he wanted to be fifty cent, not twenty cent. <laughs> right, that's funny. And, right, and because he was going to be taxed at sixty two percent, well, he was wrong about that. It's sixty five point three, sixty five point three percent. And uh, what's her face? So it's Chelsea more like, Handler. So it's, so it's more like eighteen. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Chelsea Handler came out and said, uh, "Hey, I need to remind you that you're black." I mean, so racist. Oh Just my gosh, it the was most agonizing, agonizingly racist rant sure was. on Twitter and wherever else. And she promised to do him if he changed his vote. <laughs> she would do that no, anyway. No, she'd to take be, him for to a be spin. fair. She yeah. meant like yeah. drive around the block. To be or something. fair, she would do that anyway. I'm sure. <clears throat> fair point. So he caves. I mean, immediately. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. F Trump. Oh my gosh, that is. Ooh, it's a, pathetic. A man of principle, Fitty yes, Sint. Yes, yes. Thank you, Fitty. That was very bold and brave. What mm-hmm. a, what a man of courage you are. What That's... did he? What did he tweet out? He said it's affecting my <clears throat> love life. Yeah. And he effecting. E- effect. It's affecting his love life, <laughs> not affecting it. <laughs> well, no, you don't get you, know, you get affected when you're Fitty. So he says, F Donald Trump, I never liked him. For all I know, he had me set up. Okay, now it's, okay. it's Trump's fault. Fiddy, what are you doing? And had my friend Angel Fernandez killed, but that's history. What? Well, okay, now I'm lost. What? I can't follow Who's the story. Angel? Angel Hernandez? Yeah. I mean, there used to be an umpire, I think. Let's see, Angel. I'm guessing it's not an umpire. You don't He's think talking so? about there. No, no okay. probably not. Yeah, I, I mean, when I Google Angel Hernandez, uh, first thing that comes up is Angel Hernandez worst calls compilation. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I don't know who Angel everything? Fernandez is. Uh, okay. But Chelsea Handler then tweeted out, "Honey, does this tweet m- uh, mean we can count on a vote for you for Joe Biden? I'm happy to discuss this with you privately. My phone number is still the same. Yours isn't. I've oh. tried calling you. I bet oh, you have. Oh, right. oh. So she's gonna follow through." promise I'm that's sure. that's good great. that's really great mm. so isn't that um well, i mean stinks. votes votes for sex is that legal we'll have to look into that a little bit <laughs> i i don't know but <laughs> like aren't you paying somebody for their vote jeffrey's gonna investigate I, for us and get i mean I, i'm not opposed <laughs> <laughs> all right uh let me take a minute and tell you about patriot mobile we've got these left-wing corporations like verizon like at&t who are just funneling money into the left-wing organizations and Planned Parenthood like you can't believe. I mean, tens of millions of dollars at a time. All the left-wing candidates got money from AT&T, from Verizon. If you're sick and tired of that, you want to take a stand, you want to do something that makes a big difference, switch your cell service to Patriot Mobile. You're going to get the same coverage. You're going to get the same service, better service, because they've got a support team that loves America. They're based here in America. They share your values. They support our police. And you're not going to have to put up with all the garbage from AT&T and Verizon. Plus, switching is easy. First of all, you know they're all in the same cell towers. I mean, it's not like we have to put up towers on the moon to make this happen. They're already there, and they all use the same ones here on Earth. And so you're going to get the same, the same coverage. And they make switching as easy as they can. You can keep your phone, you can keep your phone number, whatever you want to do. Or you could switch it all if, if you want. Get a free month of service right now or free phone plus free activation when you use the offer code PAT. Just go to patriotmobile.com slash PAT or call their U.S.-based customer service uh, team at 972-PATRIOT, 972-PATRIOT, or patriotmobile.com slash PAT. Although I'll keep my shoes in distance, what this world needs is a head. Until we find the vaccination. There's no substitute, substitute for love. love. So love yourself and love Beautiful. your family. Love your neighbor Powerful. And, no. your, and your friend. It is time you meet a stranger. 
Just He's afraid, afraid you ain't me. Yeah. That is a fantastic song. <laughs> Not the word I was going with. I freaking love how bad that song is. <laughs> like, no, you, I love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's so, it's so it is good. so comically bad. Yeah. That you're like, okay, I'm not I was never a gigantic John Bon Jovi fan, but that's as bad as I could possibly imagine coming from I don't know anybody, let alone a superstar <laughs> like John Bon Jovi. <laughs> that's rough, man. That's unreal bad. <laughs> It's like he's trying to be a parody of himself or something. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, we got some tweets here uh, from Trump Chump. Maybe the other thousand people at the Biden Georgia rally are all behind the camera. Mm. Um, oh, and maybe. Have yeah. you considered that? Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Uh, Jeffy, are you missing OEA? Because I got a tweet from your missing OEA here. Uh, I didn't realize you were missing it. Yes, I've been missing, you've been it missing your OEA. Time. Apparently yeah. it's set up a website oh. uh, or at least a Twitter account. A Twitter account. For and okay. so we should be able to trace it and get back you with think. I need a little OEA <laughs> contact know. tracing is what I need. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, will the astronauts be calling Nokia brick from Nokia brick phones? <clears throat> oh, I don't oh. know. Plus, I was thinking uh, if Remember any those? time if any time Mm-hmm. Uh, is more important than <clears throat> ever to have uh, a, a unlimited plan. Uh, you don't want <laughs> yeah. ro- you don't want roaming charges. Roaming. Out the moon, <laughs> you do not want That's roaming. for sure. Yeah, yeah. If the cell tower goes down on the moon, it roams all the way back to <laughs> right. eighty thousand miles to the Earth. <laughs> That's a that's going to be a serious you fee. You are lying. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hang up really quickly if that happens. Just hang up. Airline Cow tweets, best Pat parody song yet. Uh-huh. Really? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Biden went down to Georgia. Uh, this will get him into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before, before Foreigner. Foreigner. <laughs> uh, I'd take that, actually. I'd take it. Uh, methane methane and Mad Cows, insta hit <laughs> when someone's going to give this. When is someone going to give this brilliant vocalist a record deal? Mm-hmm. That's a good, mm-hmm. Very good question. Uh, we'll see. Should be forthcoming very, very quickly here. By the way, somebody is replacing uh, Fiddy in the rap world. Okay. In their Trump support. Thank okay. goodness. Oh, okay, we good. lost. We won him, and then, then we, we lost, lost him. him. But now we've gained Lil Pump. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who's nice. that? Who's that again? Lil Pump. Lil Pump. Lil Pump, Lil Pump. endorses Trump. <laughs> wow. I mean, that'll probably stand <laughs> until Chelsea tweets him. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Look, I, look, look at that guy. Woo. He's that's a, Lil Pump. There he is. Lil Pump. There's Lil Pump. Is wow. Uh is he part of a band like Gucci Gang? Because that's what it's Gucci Gang rapper. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Well, uh, wait, the, the rappers you got man. three He's got <laughs> really white guys it. that are not necessarily big into rap, and we have no idea what <laughs> Gucci No, gang we're just is. acting like he's we got don't. the he's got the prison uh, teardrops. Oh, on does the he? Face, let's though. see that oh, again. Let's see this. Okay. Pop, okay. I, don't I love that. Pop, oh, no, don't miss. Are you crying? Why are you so sad? No, that's doesn't stand for that. What does uh, it stand for, uh, Mr. Hypnos? Oh, people you killed. Oh, people you killed. Oh, really? So how many people did he kill? Don't you? There's three on his face <laughs> That's not right teardrops. There. That's like star. Uh, uh, oh, it's wannabe teardrops then. Like a, a little pump. spade. Like a, what's little this? Pump. He's got a sad face on his forehead. Wow. Wait, if you tattoo teardrops yeah. on yeah, your tear face, that teardrops. means you killed people? Yeah, that's the people you killed. Oh, wow. Mm. So he's killed no one. Hmm. He needs to. Yeah, that's, those are wannabe teardrops. He's nothing. Little pump. I see. Well, anyway, Gucci Gang rapper <laughs> Lil Pump endorsed Donald Trump okay. in an expletive-laced yeah. Sunday night Instagram post. Yeah, that was nice. rough. That was not something we could pull for the show. Or he, else it'd just be a long bleep. He voiced opposition to Joe Biden's plan for higher taxes. All I got to say is Trump 2020, biatch. Think about it. <laughs> I added the ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> the ah. Uh, Lil Pump told his 17, <laughs> 17 million yeah. Followers on Instagram? Yeah, Why do you say it like that? This guy's huge. I, I've never heard of Lil Pump. I'm Lil sorry. Pump. I, I got to wow. get back into the top 40 scene. <laughs> or the hip-hop scene. No, yeah, the hip-hop scene. Uh, man, I bet it's really, yeah. really good. Well, well, congrats to Trump for getting uh, congrats. Lil, Lil Pump yeah. on board. With songs like Biden went down to Georgia, you're going to be on the streets I'll be there with soon. Lil Pump right. soon. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so, so Trump basically <laughs> traded 50 Cent for, for Lil Pump. For a Lil, Lil Pump. Pump. Mm-hmm. He says, F. Thank you. F. Be here all week. I look Thank like you. paying an extra 33 in tax for Biden. F. Sleepy Joe. He said <laughs> in the clip. 
<laughs> Thank you. Quote. He, he's right. He's Low right. Pump. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that I feel the same way about his tax I know. plan. I really do. I uh, can't say it just that way, but uh, but that's how I feel as well. But that's good though that that 17 million followers saw a video that you know from a, a, a political viewpoint that they normally aren't exposed to. Right. In theory. Right. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Once, pump. Once Thank you, get, little pump. Once he gets that tweet from Chelsea, <laughs> though, he's done. Oh yeah. I done. wonder if uh, he's an ex-boyfriend as yeah, well. Probably. She'll have sex think, with to get uh, him back yeah. on the right side. Pretty much every male that isn't in this room <laughs> is an ex-boyfriend of Chelsea. I don't know that. It's probably, it's mm-hmm. probably true. Hey. What's that? <laughs> what okay. you got? All right. Yeah. <laughs> don't include <laughs> Jeffy in that. He's He's been there and done that. 888 900 That's Gray. I don't know if Democrats have heard this, but they've got a much higher instance of uh, contracting COVID-19 when they go out to vote oh, no. than Republicans do. Oh, no. Is that right? Have you heard that? Oh, yeah. No. It's, uh, so it's kind of scary it's for so Democrats. <laughs> well, oh, no. I wouldn't go out. And and if you mail it in, a lot of times uh, the infection somehow makes its way to your house. <laughs> the mailbox? It does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how it's do we have, weird. How do it's we have, weird. How do we yeah. have both record numbers of people <laughs> voting already? Well, that's but, why we have record infections going on right now, thank you. Keith. Sure. Yeah. But but how 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 can we also make the claim that uh, <laughs> the vote is being suppressed? I don't understand. That's a good how point. Both of those work. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What a universe. But if I were a Democrat, I probably wouldn't get out and vote right no. now. Yeah, be safe. You want to play it safe. Up. Be safe. Protect yourself. Now, Stay inside. I would say yeah. I would indoors. say that the coast becomes clear on November fourth. Yeah. But actually. November 4th is true, because yeah. and then because of the infection, I've yeah. heard in some places they'll let you vote anyway. That's what I was going to say. You, you, know, you might want to hang back a little, little okay. longer just, just to be safe. Uh, <laughs> They're trying to oppress the vote right now! They're lying! That's voter suppression right now! Yep. Shut up. <laughs> you're that stupid. You shouldn't be voting, okay? Yeah, if you're that stupid that you believe that, yeah, you shouldn't be we voting. We don't need you, bro. We don't need you. Bro. We don't need it. It's amazing how they're pushing this uh, record infections again, though. Uh, what, sure 70,000 a day, supposedly? Does it feel that way to you? No. Doesn't to me at all. No. But again, remember, the virus is proving that it's less deadly than it was, than it was before. three, four months ago. Yeah. So, yes, we're testing yeah. more, so therefore we're going to have more infections. Yes. But yet less people are dying. Wow, are you working for Trump now? I'm working for Trump now. Wow. Are you working for Trump now? <laughs> you see. Yeah. And I love the fact that both Biden and Harris are saying uh, we're, they're going to follow the science on this. Really? Oh, which are which science are you following? The yeah. science that said masks <laughs> don't help or the science that says that they're critical? Uh, is it the science that says that... It's not an aerosol virus or the science that claims it is. And it lingers there for days. The science that says you can't get it from asymptomatic people or the science that says they're spreading it more than anyone. What science are you following? The science that says if you get it, you're immune. Or the science that says, well, immunities tend to wane after so long. That what science? The science that says Piltdown Man is the missing link. For 41 years, or the science that says, oh, I'm sorry, that was a hoax. It was just an ape jaw. Which never science? Mind. Never mind. What science? And when do you believe science? And why are they infallible when they make mistakes all the time? Yeah. All the time. The uh, science that says it's not a human science. until I'm so sick of hearing they're that. 18 years of age. <laughs> right. Or the science that says they're a human when they first show up in the womb. <laughs> I don't know. What science? Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> the point. Uh, by the way, Blaze Media is offering what we consider to be, and you should too, our most important discount ever, $30 off an annual subscription. That's sweet. Yeah, it means that the Blaze, Blaze TV is available for the low price of just five seventy five a month. $5.75. Not $575 no, a month. Although it'd be worth it. It sure would. At twice that price. <laughs> But we're only charging five seventy five a month for it. Mm. Uh, so go to blazetv.com slash pat. Use the offer code pat, yeah. if you would. And once they get those cell towers up, you'll be able to watch the blaze up on the moon. On the With, moon. And be sure to get unlimited service. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Don't yes. want to go over on data. And you're welcome. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, all right. I want to show you this. 
pushback that uh, Christian Amanpour got. Christian Amanpour, such an incredible she's journalist. Awesome. Oh, she's, she is so she's fantastic. Awesome. CNN, she's widely respected. She's just, she's a bulldog journalist. A global journalist. Global. Oh, she's so, so wonderful. Mm hmm. Uh, well, she's pushing all this garbage, and she got a little push back. Here. Really? Uh, check good, this out. It's got to be good to see. Oh, I love this. That Rudolph Giuliani, that is the president's personal lawyer, was, quote, Rudolph being used Giuliani. to feed there Russian misinformation to the president. Um, Giuliani met in December Pause with somebody who the United... They're, they're trying to get away with this Russian yeah. disinformation about, thing. I, when they can't. It's just, it's not. She's so it's much, been proven not to be. I'd like to believe that she's so much smarter than this. And she's I, and she's, she's just playing the game for the Biden campaign. agonizing, man. That's what you should. I mean, they're just doing the agenda of the left wing. Uh, let's see this. ...to feed Russian misinformation to the president. Good gosh. Um, Giuliani met in December with somebody who the United States government believes is a Russian agent. You know who I'm talking about, a Ukrainian parliamentarian by the name of Andrei Dekaj. Um, mm. Are you comfortable with the president of the United mm. States mm -hmm. being close to a person like Rudy Giuliani, who says also mm -hmm. that he is not bothered whether any of the information comes from um, from Russian hacking? What does that say? Are you comfortable that CNN used Russian disinformation from a Russian nice. asset to leak it to subvert the peaceful transfer of power? Thank you. The reporting oh, on the Liz, dossier, Liz, which was complete, Liz. verified Russian disinformation. Is it not? Is it not? Liz, let, let's just get back to the story. Was the now. dossier oh, real? Yeah. Was the dossier real? Oh, Can it's we very get back relevant to the because story? everything that Democrats accused us of doing well, is what they themselves did. We, no, Rudy uh, Giuliani we is not a Russian tried. asset, we, and we've heard this smear very well you, before. It's the we've United it States government again. who said it, not me and not CNN. The United States government the has The FBI, reported. the FBI. Okay, you know what also the United States government says? <laughs> the FBI says this laptop is not russian disinformation so what right. are you talking about here this right. laptop is real thank it's you it's not just the laptop there's other emails there's text messages they are real so okay. according to the Guess u.s what? government the i know FBI that you're trying to move this. everybody wow. to look at that but that's not what we're hearing from why the don't FBI. you want to report but this what? this is yes it is, is. because families in washington Liz, oh, the Liz. biden Gosh. family and oh you're okay gosh. you're okay with our interests being Liz. sold out to profit uh, Joe Biden and his family, when when we're suffering during a pandemic from communist yes, China, he's absolutely. doing shady business yeah, deals she's comfortable with, with communist you know China. You're well. comfortable, mm. okay? As as you know perfectly well, I'm a journalist and a reporter, uh, and I follow the facts. Right. You're a journalist, and there has never been any oh, issues yes, in terms this. of corruption. Now, let me ask you this: What yes. today? The what? FBI, wait, 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 oh my FBI gosh! And, you know that. that is unreal. I'm talking about reporting. And any evidence? I'm talking to you now. Wow. Okay, I would love if you guys would start doing that FBI's... digging and start doing that verification. No, we're not going to do your work for you. I want to ask you a question. Wow. The FBI. It's a journalist's contrary, job. It's a journalist's job to, to, to find out if this is verified. Yes. Exactly. Oh, right. I don't know who she is. Do you know who she is? This this uh, Trump surrogate. I, I. She's great. No, I think she's related to uh, Alfred E. Newman. I don't know who. <laughs> really? Yeah, they, they keep dragging out new people. I yeah, don't know who they are. I, I love it. New to me. I don't, I don't know who that is, but yeah. she was awesome there with uh, Christian Amanpour. That, wow, what a pathetic performance by her, though. Oh, she is despicable. <laughs> despicable. They will not listen to oh, no. anything oh, regarding no. the Biden corruption. It just doesn't exist in their mind. And she said so. No, there's no, there's no corruption. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Have you seen his business partner? Did you see it? No, of course not, because you, you do only the Biden agenda, so you're not watching yeah. for any of that. <laughs> Amazing. And she brings up Rudy there. That uh, Borat movie that they're talking about where uh, they they spoof they him. They busted him hard. Oh, didn't they bust Man. him? <laughs> they got Rudy uh, this time. <laughs> you got some splat, Toto. <laughs> you got to explain why you took that 15-year-old girl into the bedroom. Right. Why, why were you reaching down your pants? Yeah, what was that all about? <laughs> it's unbelievable. What was that? <laughs> we got you, Rudy. We just got, we nailed you. <laughs> And then you see the video. Hmm? 
Yeah, then you see the video. I mean, Brat and that girl who's 23 in reality, right. not 15. They're out on news programs all over the place saying, well, find out for yourself. Yeah, Watch it for, for yourself. yourself. Yeah, well, we did. We did. And it's nothing like Borat is alleging. I know. Watch this. This uh, is I amazing. Don't, I don't ever <laughs> to eat okay, it's so really she's interviewing him. Okay, I Pause it for just a second. This is a fake interview that they set up with this 15 year old girl. Borat has. Uh, has set her up as his. This is his daughter, supposedly. She's a, a budding journalist, and she wants. She's a big fan of yours, Rudy. Will you will you do an interview with her? So they set him up in this hotel room to do the interview. There's a initially there's a sound guy in the room with them, and here's what happens. <laughs> You're so funny. Look at that. Pause it again. Okay, so she's literally coming on to him. She is doing everything she can. She reaches across <laughs> across the uh, room and puts her hand on his thigh. I come on now. Come on. So you are setting him up. You're trying to get him to yes. do something wrong. You're yes. giving him all the signals that she's interested in getting together with him. Uh this is despicable. But does Agreed. he pick up on it? You be the judge. Watch this. So funny. <laughs> He does nothing there. Nothing. Now, I don't know who this guy is or what he's doing. This is probably Borat. Yeah. And he's racing to help her because she's in trouble right now. Right. So probably in a she's rough this estimate, bad guy. how many lives mm-hmm. President Trump saves? I'd say he saved a million lives. It would have been a million more had he had he waited that mm-hmm. month the way the Democrats would have done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hmm. But he acted swiftly. He acted before anybody. Oh, fact, even his own, even his own advisors. Mm-hmm. Some of them advised really? him not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. You're a little bit. This is good. Yeah. It's always <laughs> never been in front of the camera. I've always been behind of the camera. But today, something uh, with I this. I think you're gonna look pretty good. We'll see. There you go. You gotta look pretty But good. it's because of you. Well, thank you. So he's trying to make her feel I comfortable. I really feel like right. Melania right now. He's not hitting on her. Well, you're doing very well. So, I don't, th- th- I don't think. Uh, sound problem. I think we cancel interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think we need. Uh, because yeah, what do I do? I, just I, I've already my, checked. Okay. Is that better? <laughs> yeah, that's been better. Let me just listen in for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Is she okay. asking too many questions? No, she's doing great. She'd make a very nagging wife. Look at, I mean, they're doing no. everything they can to make him if think I you, I she's interested. marrying your cousins. Let me check the sound. Can I check Unreal. the sound? Sure. This is okay, so this is all part of the can setup. Say something? They're, they're trying to... Can say something? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, the sound is perfect. It's probably please, better please, if I stay please, in. No, no, please. So then she if pushes him out you, of the room. You will be in the lobby, right? And they start whispering. Yeah, that's what you want. But it's not what you want. But I also don't want you to die. Now go, go. And I wish I'd take this in place. Anyway. Yeah, don't you? Because <laughs> this looks like it's going to be really, really good. I know. So far, it's... Uh, so far, it's riveting. Where's my body? I'm so sorry. So that's now she comes point. back in. And... I'm so sorry for that. Really, apologize. Reaches uh, across, touches him on no the problem. leg again. Okay. He's okay. still being a gentleman. Yeah. Giving him uh, all the signs that, for, yeah, giving me this time. I'm ready. Uh, Shall we have a drink you. in the Let's bedroom? Let's go. And she just said, "Shall we have a drink in the bedroom?" <laughs> Wait, run that back a little bit. Can you go back to that because this is an important point too. Uh, just do that part like the last ten seconds, if you can. Perhaps you can't. Shall we have a drink in the bedroom? Okay, that's off camera. Pause it for just a sec. That sound was added later. She says, should we have a drink in the bedroom? Because you don't see her face. You don't see her saying that. She's not saying anything. You don't know what was actually said to get him to move from one room to the other. Uh She probably said, let's go take off our mics in the other room. Uh Instead, they insert the audio. Wow. Let's go have a drink. Let's go have a drink in the bedroom. I smell a lawsuit here. It's defamation. There should be. There should absolutely be. Uh, All right. Then here's what happens in the famous bedroom scene. Shall we have a drink in the bedroom? Look at that. That's just pathetic. Yeah. That's just pathetic. Uh, what happened? 
Okay, so now he's helping her. She's asked him to help her take off her mic. And that's what he did. Give me your phone number and your address. And he pats her on the side. Okay. Now she's helping him take off his microphone, and they're trying to make something out of that. He leans back because his mic just so came out. The wire is up the, the wire. Shirt. That's where you wear them. And he tucked She's 15. She's and he too tucked, old for you. Stop it for a second. He tucked his shirt in just as he said. He is clearly, maybe we can run it back the 10 seconds and watch him literally tuck in his shirt. Right. He's not touching his genitalia. He's not doing anything of the kind. And then in busts uh, Borat at that specific time to try to make it look like he's doing something wrong. With his wrong. great outfit, his cute little outfit on. And then what, listen to what he starts yelling. But if you can, start it at the... Here we go. Tuck. And tuck. tuck. Shirt in. Put down your... And then Go. Borat. She's 15. She's too old for you. Wait, wait, she, why are you no, she, she, my daughter. Please, take me instead. Take my... No, no, no take my... Do not okay, he doesn't know I'm what's out. going on. No, I I'm better. Out. My back yeah. very tight. No, please, my problem. I will let you enjoy my... Okay, so then he busts in and tries to make it like you were trying to get her take me instead. So pathetic. What was he? So what was Rudy saying? Send me, give me your uh, number and address. I don't know because they took, we out, we they took out all the we rest. We don't know of the, the context. Was it to send a copy of something? Right. Or yeah, maybe to see the interview. Um, or do it, another interview because well, this right. one didn't work. Yes. You were the one telling me the sound was wrong. Yes. Mm-hmm. There was a problem. Yeah, we have no idea of the context of that comment. As far as I could tell, he did absolutely nothing inappropriate there. No. Nothing not inappropriate. Because if he was Let alone gonna, wrong. If, if something really inappropriate happened, <clears throat> wouldn't he ask her that after the fact? Yeah. Give me your number. Give me your address. I'd like to see you again next time. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that exchange, the context is. And I love the second that he tucks in his shirt in bust Borat telling her not to do, not to do anything to her. Oh, my take me take instead. Me. Shut up. What do you, what, what do you so dress asinine. like that for? What do you, right. I'm and that's what here. Rudy's I'm totally confused here. now. He doesn't, he wasn't trying anything. He wasn't doing anything. And now this guy comes in, in a, in a lingerie or something weird. Transvestite outfit. Really? Okay, I, I don't even know what's going on here, and he leaves. And he leaves. That is despicable stuff. That's absolutely but despicable. But funny. Despicable, oh! but funny. Funny. <laughs> funny is what you're... Inside right now. Yeah. I'm rolling <laughs> on the floor. Oh, yeah. Inside. I mean. Inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the, the laugh hysteria. Man, I'll tell you one thing. It makes Oof. you want to see the rest of the movie. Doesn't it, though? I, I mean, I, I can't wait. I wouldn't waste one penny. On that stupid thing. I certainly wouldn't put that into the pocket of Borat. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen. I'm not watching that for free on an airplane when no, I'm a captive audience. Absolutely not. Oh. That's it's despicable what this guy's doing. It's just trash. It's absolute garbage. And it should be illegal. Somebody somebody should put a stop to this crap. And maybe it'll be Rudy. Maybe I mean the guy's a lawyer. He knows that he's been set up here. He knows that he's been disparaged and he's been defamed. Yeah. So he should do something about that. He really should do something about that. And he should demand that the full tape be provided to the American people so we can see exactly what really happened there. That'd be nice. What was really said and what really went on. And it's despicable that Borat is out saying he was doing something tawdry. Right. And he is. He's alluding to, he's he's alluding he's to it. Alluding to it. Big yes. time. Yes. Big time. And he's he's trying to do it in a way where he won't get sued. Right. But he's doing it. Uh really horrible. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. And it Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Another undercover operation here. Ooh. Uh, this one not tawdry though. Oh. Uh, but it is showing some activity that uh is going on that the american people need to know about like i don't know vote buying in oh, texas yeah. being Seriously. exposed by james o'keefe yeah this is this is very we have raquel on tape coercing voters <clears throat> to vote the right way as well as bribing these voters with gifts uh, now you know i'm here you chose a republican not a democrat right uh-oh uh-oh can i do this you can do. You can vote for whoever you want. But our conversation that we had, you said you were voting for a hanger because you were going straight Democrat. 
So that way you're voting for the straight down. Okay, so you see what's happening here? And that's what you want to do, correct? Can I do it like that? So she's returning with the ballot, her ballot. Pause it for a second. Okay, she's saying, yeah. hey, you said you were voting straight Democrat. Do you have a Republican here, Mark, which would be Cornyn? So she, she voted yeah. for Cornyn Over, instead of Hagar. Uh-huh, and so... Sammy like, Hagar is was, running in this election. A lot of people don't even know about I that, know. and I think they should. You think Sammy he would Hagar. advertise it. You would think so. And I think Sammy's a Republican. I don't know why he's running as a Democrat. Yeah. <laughs> Unless that's not Sammy Hagar. Is he going to change the speed limit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he can't drive 55, right, yeah. so it's oh, going to be like 85. Right, that's, a, that's an interesting platform. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's what happens. <clears throat> so you're going to you're going to dot that in, and the line goes like this. And then your initials are going to put right there. So that way they know it was done accidental. Oh. oh. She didn't vote. vote for who we wanted her to vote for. That right there is against the law for me to tell her, like, you realize you voted for... You really <laughs> so she knows. She nothing. knows she's look asking her to break the law. Yeah. And look at look the, the shawl. shawl. Oh, look at the payment. Oh, There's the payment. Oh. And she's going to say, man, Motto sent you this bad shawl. Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. I couldn't vote for him, but you're in his area. You vote for him. Yeah. Wow. This is it's what you call flipping people. Flipping people. What I do in picking up the balance. And now she knows. That's illegal. That's I illegal. Go she jail. could go to jail. So I, I'm a little apprehensive to tell somebody, you know what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. And again, once he works be. with me once, he's going to say she's... I, I guess Trump was right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry? About doing something new? Yeah. <laughs> they all said he was full of shit. Oh, no, he's not. No, it's not. It's true. Because you're not supposed to do that. Oh, my gosh. I have a bunch of them. Yeah. I will take 20 here, 30 here, 40 here. Oh, to mix it up, not the same post office. Of course not. Yeah. So, because I told her to huh. for paper, so I'm going to take a picture of her, mm -hmm. take a picture of the ballot where it says them two on there. Mm-hmm. Take a picture of you in the background so they know that uh, you are freaking there. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of us all together, mm -hmm. and then I'm right. going to send it to you. Okay. And you do not let anybody else know this is what I'm doing because I would, if I go to prison, I do not look cute in stripes. I'm sure. I you don't look cute forever. anyway. Oh, you'll so. hate me forever? Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that was unnecessary. It sure was. Did that come out loud? Did I say that in my outside voice? Maybe I just heard you. Okay. Yeah, no one okay. else did. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. So got her yeah. to change her mm -hmm. vote. Yeah. The lady here in Texas. Illegally. Um, illegally. They paid her with a shawl. A shawl. And said and told her that you say that your mom sent you this. Okay. <laughs> well, then. Okay. I, I'm sorry. A shawl isn't worth <laughs> <laughs> but did you see the show? Did you see the show? I did see that the shawl. Yes, that was beautiful. Yeah, so thank it was, you. It was a nice shawl. Thank but you. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> the shawl isn't moving <laughs> me to change my vote. I'm, I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, well, apparently well, you're you got something better than a shawl? Well, well, what would it take? Your shoulders have take? never been cold. What would it take to uh, get me into a Hagar uh, vote? Yeah, 50 yard uh, line tickets to the BYU game? Well, if I can make airfare there as well. If you can make that happen. Uh, now, that's if we get you to vote for president as well. That's just a <laughs> maybe, Senate Maybe take us to Game 7 of the World uh, Series. Uh, man, Wait, oh, man. There's not going to oh, yeah, be one of those. Hope, Anyhow. Hopefully most Americans would really understand that this that whole situation is But she just talked illegal. about 20, 30, 40 of those that I she's know. mixing in here, at different post offices. there, yeah. Uh, seriously. I know. Uh, so, again, and she admits Trump was right. We're totally doing this. <laughs> You'll see that on CNN, I'm sure, later on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, right, right after they get to the book. Yeah, yeah. they're going to mm -hmm. play the... Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, CNN and MSNBC are... Everywhere. They're queuing up the tape right now. <laughs> they're just getting ready to push the button on it and show you the corruption that's going on well, in the Democrat but again, Party. But again, that's after they get to the Bobolinsky video. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Showing the, the Biden family <laughs> crime syndicate. Holy cow. All right, well. we got a lot of videos to get to today at CNN so they can educate their viewers. We will uh, see you again tomorrow with uh, much more of making this apocalypse oh. fun. Pat Gray, only on the Blaze Radio Network.